Okay, guys, here's a uh, a uh, watering design that was uh, inspired by uh, Mojo 60. Here's his original design here that I got my idea from. It's a uh, two liter bottle with a one inch pipe put together with a uh, heat gun. So I got the and then I just, this then I got the idea. Okay, this is a uh, you know this is going down too fast. It's not really lasting that long for like over the weekend or whatever. So I went ahead and made an improved design of a sealed system. As you can see, there's no uh, hole at the top. And I put this on at 12 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. It's only gone down to three inches. And here it is uh, uh, 11 o'clock in the afternoon now. So it tells you, you know, the, how slow this is going down and going into the pot. This pot is about 24 inches deep. So I cut it in half and made it 12 inches. So now I'm at the halfway point. And I think what's happening now is what they call a wicking effect. The wicking effect, the, the bottom area is getting uh, wet, staying wet, causing the plants at the top to uh, start uh, going deeper roots so it can, uh, they can stay alive longer. And to top it off, I'm in Texas, so uh, San Antonio. So I'm, uh, these plants are surrounded with basically a brick oven, as you can see around the sides here. When the sun comes in on this side of the house, it causes a really uh, hot uh, oven effect in here. So for these plants to survive, I need to set up a slower um, watering system to where they can uh, last longer and not dry out. So my other plants will have experimented with ended up like this. So so I went ahead and decided to make a new approach with um, Mojo 60's design. And then I improved it to this design. And I'll show you what uh, you know inspired me after Mojo 60 to do this sealed system. I'm about to go to my uh, shop here and I'll show you. So here I am in my shop. Okay, so I'm showing how what inspired me on the next stage after Mojo 60 is I went to this. We all seen these before. And they're like used for small plants indoors. So I went ahead and went to that other design. So then I went ahead and I did uh, went ahead and put in the bottle which is a seal bottle I, you know this one is uh, you know the same one as Mojo 60 showed so I went ahead and um, did a seal design and I got me a three inch pipe from that put it onto here with the uh, heat gun and then I did a seven inch half inch so I reduced it down to a half inch with this reducer okay now you seen that the bottle collapsed, right? So I, you know, I haven't made it yet, but it got it in mind to do, which is a glass bottle. So I thought of a glass bottle design, maybe a Voss bottle. You know, it's got the threads at the top where you can get that the, the uh, you can get that pipe around it using a heat gun, or you could do the same thing with a with an old uh, rum bottle which I have here. There's a nail design there. You get the pipe around it too with the heat gun. Maybe get an expander and then make it go down to a reducer. Or you could use one of these other bottles right here that I've uh, come across too. So um, these are uh, these are what uh, you know the designs that I came up with. I've also tried the cap design. You put the cap at the bottom. Put a couple holes there. And it's still uh, it still uh, went into the dirt uh, about a half hour later, so it didn't last that long. So, you know, if you want, want it to last longer, I come up with a design similar. You know, this is what uh, I came from to this idea here, reducer to a half inch, which is right here. So you got your half inch pipes. 
got your one inch pipe got your reducer and that's it just uh, do the same method as uh, Mojo 60 and uh, shove a stick in there first and then shove in your design hope this helps and uh, happy uh, planting